After Kai Kara France showed up and really went after Asker Askarab on route to an impressive victory as a sizable underdog this past week, it only further validated what I already strongly believed, and that's that the booking of Divas and Figueroa vs Brandon Moreno 4 was not the fight to make. Don't get me wrong, fans have derived a great deal of excitement and entertainment from their first three battles, but booking that fight at this point in time is short-sighted. Especially in light of Kai Kara France emerging as a truly worthy contender. On his appearance on the MMA Hour with Ariel Halani this week, he made a long list of some really great points. One of those points being that, after the Cody Garbrandt fight, he could have easily rested on his laurels to see what opportunities he could have got out of it. But instead of doing that, he stepped up and took on perhaps the single most dangerous fight available in the division, which is just the type of thing the UFC typically rewards. And he turned out an absolutely gutsy performance, showing a lot of experience and a lot of composure. Some of the most patient grappling we've seen in quite some time in the Octagon, really. He was in serious trouble at one point, and he just calmly got himself out of there. But the good news is that the UFC and Dana White don't mind changing their minds if a better option presents itself. They've been really great about this sort of thing for years now, and I really hope they make the decision to insert Kai Kara France into the next title fight against Divas and Figueroa. I don't mean to beat up on Figgy vs Moreno 4, but there are so many reasons that should not be the next title fight. There's no doubt that a part of the reason this fight is being made is because, at the time, there were no other clear-cut flyweight contenders. But booking up two of the biggest fighters in the division for over two and a half years means that all the other flyweights out there don't get an opportunity to take on these big names in an attempt to make a name for themselves. High-profile fighters are not in abundance in the flyweight division. Without Moreno and Figueroa available, how are all the other flyweights supposed to get over? The big fights are what get the spotlight, and with that spotlight being occupied by the same two people for going on three years now, it just leaves everybody else in the roster in the dark, trying to stand out the best they can until the big fights are made available. I really feel like that this type of matchmaking stunts the growth and the potential of the entire division. Although Figueroa vs Moreno 4 is destined to be a good tilt, the fourth matchup between them has to be the least anticipated fight of them all. With Kai Kara France coming off of such a huge win, he has accrued a whole lot of momentum, and it would almost be wasteful for all that very valuable momentum to not get inserted into the next flyweight title fight. With Moreno being removed from the title fight, it puts him out there, and now there's another big fight for a flyweight to be had. Another flyweight fighter is going to get a huge opportunity to get the spotlight on them. I understand that Moreno may not love this decision, but that's the nature of this sport. Even if he were to decide to wait it out and take on the winner of Figgy vs. Cara France, it's still a better option for both the fans and the future of the division. Not to mention that stylistically, Figgy vs. Cara France is certain to produce absolute chaos. There are not many people in the flyweight division that have devastating power, so you really can't go wrong putting the two low guys that have it in the octagon together with the stakes of the championship title on the line. It just has all the makings for a memorable one. It would be one thing if the fanfare for Carl France was high, but the experience of him was light. I'm never about rushing fighters in the title shots when they aren't ready, but if there's anything the New Zealander has shown us over the past couple of fights, is that he is absolutely ready for this opportunity, and fully capable to step in there against the ultra-dangerous champion. These days it seems like every title fight that goes to a judge's decision warrants a rematch. There was a time before the entertainment era of this sport when instant rematches were quite uncommon. Back then, a champion losing their title didn't mean an automatic rematch. History has shown us that rematches are more compelling when there's time and experience put between the fights. What happens in the middle becomes a significant part of the storyline, and it helps build the intrigue around the contest. It makes it all the more appealing when someone has to battle back from adversity to get back to the point where they can avenge one of their losses. The frequency of rematches these days detracts from the specialness of them. No disrespect to Moreno, he is an absolute warrior. But do the right thing, UFC. Put Kai Kara France in there against Divas and Figueroa for the next title fight. Put him in there and capitalize on all that momentum gain. And give the fans the most intriguing flyweight title fight in UFC history.